welcome to VTO e Shikshana program. I am continuation of this program module 2 corrosion and its control. So far I have discussed about that what is metallic corrosion, explain electrochemical theory of corrosion or local cell theory of corrosion. Then in that under local, local theory of corrosion or electrochemical theory of corrosion, explain about anodic reaction, cathodic reactions and corrosion rust, corrosion product formed. Later we discussed about the factors affecting the rate of corrosion. Number one, ratio of anodic to cathodic area that means lower the one behaves as anode, a larger area behaves as cathode. Uh, then uh, uh, one more uh, is that one more factor that is about that nature of the metal. I told you about this iron corrodes faster than other metals because iron is a porous material iron is a porous material uh, whereas other metals like nickel, chromium, nickel, chromium etc. because iron is a porous material because of that porosity and loose film formation non stoichiometric the surface of the object is not so uniform whereas nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver etc. or non porous material nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, etc. or non-porous materials. Okay. Then uh, this one thin film formation, stoichiometric that means the surface object is uniform. That is why only outer will be corroded. Whereas iron, nine metal is good because of that porosity. Next one is that Next one is that nature of the corrosion product. Most of the metals converted into their oxides, metal into metal oxides, metal into metal oxides during the corrosion. Corrosion occurs at anode, corrosion nothing but oxidation. The corrosion product formed on the surface of the metal may or, or may not access a protective film. If the corrosion product is stoichiometric, insoluble, non porous and non porous stable and uniform that itself acts as a protective layer on the surface. So, that means you know like the corrosion product formed on the surface of the metal may or may not acts as a protective film if the corrosion product is stoichiometric. Stoichiometric means the surface of the object is uniform, insoluble, non porous, stable and uniform that itself acts as a protective layer on the surface and prevents further corrosion of metal. Whereas, metals such as aluminum, chromium, titanium, zirconium, molybdenum that is about that aluminum, chromium, titanium, zirconium and molybdenum. So, this titanium you know like your teeth are shining because of that some amount of titanium present in the Colgate paste or any paste, not that because of that salt or any other vegetables about that. If the teeth are shining just because of that titanium content in that any paste. Okay. So, now metals such as aluminum, chromium, titanium, zirconium, molybdenum, TA and nickel exhibit good resistance uh, for atmospheric uh, corrosion due to their tendency to form thin and protective oxide film where as metals such as iron, magnesium, zinc do not form any protective film and are, are highly susceptible for corrosion. So, now metals such as nickel, chromium, copper, gold, titanium or this one are exhibit good resistance for atmospheric corrosion due to their tendency to form thin and protective thin layer and protective oxide film whereas, metals such as iron, magnesium, zinc do not form any protective layer and are highly susceptible for corrosion. This is about the third factors of the rate of corrosion. The so, fourth one the hydrogen ion concept uh, people will say what is pH is negative logarithm of hydrogen ion concentration. But the hydrogen ion concentration of the medium is another is another important factor 
in corrosion phenomenon. At pH 10, corrosion of ion practically ceases due to the formation of protective layer coating of hydroxide ion. Between pH 10 and 3, the, the presence of oxygen is essential for corrosion. If the pH bit below 3, severe corrosion even in the absence of air due to the continuous pressure about that. See now, you know like between pH, pH 14, pH 7, pH 0, pH 3, pH 10, about that corrosion, severe corrosion takes place between pH 3 and 0, pH 3, severe corrosion takes place between pH 3, that means below as more acidic, more corrosion takes place. Between pH uh, 10 and 3, corrosion takes place only in presence of O2. Here, presence or absence of O2, the severe corrosion takes place. More acidic means more corrosion takes place. And uh, more alkaline, that means between pH 10 of, uh, 14 and 10, no corrosion takes place. Between pH, uh, this one about that, uh, greater than 10, that is about the pH, between pH 10 and 14, no corrosion takes place. There, it is formed, protective layer formed. Whereas here, severe corrosion takes place. Uh, uh, this one less than 3. Between 10 and 3, corrosion takes place only in presence of O2. Otherwise, not possible. Clear now? These are two extremes. 3 marks means 3 points. Lower the corrosion, this one more acidic, more corrosion takes place. More alkaline, no corrosion takes place. Between uh, 10 and 3, Corrosion takes place only in presence of O2. This is about the fourth protect, uh, this one uh, uh, factors of rate of corrosion. Hydrogen ion concentration of medium is another important factor. This is very, very important one. Hydrogen ion concentration that is H plus. Hydrogen ion concentration about that, pH about this one, uh, important factor in corrosion phenomenon. Uh, greater than pH, corrosion of iron ceases due to formation of protective layer formed, protective layer formed. Whereas, uh, for the coating of hydroxide ion, between pH 10 and 3, corrosion takes place when only when presence of O2 and uh, between pH, the presence of oxygen is essential. Whereas, if the pH is lo lower than 3, severe corrosion takes place even in the absence of air due to the continuous evolution of hydrogen at the cathodic region. So, that means this is more dangerous. This is no danger, this one only presence of what it is happening about that. So, conductivity, higher the conductance, the rate of conduction, the rate of corrosion also faster. The conduction of medium has considerably effect on the rate of corrosion. The rate of corrosion increases with increase in the conductance of the medium. So, that means higher the conductance, the rate of conduct also, the rate, the rate of corrosion also increases. As the conduction of the medium increases, ions can move easily through the medium. So, the rate of corrosion in a dry atmosphere is less than in a wet corrosion. See, in the during um, in the introduction part, I told you what is metallic corrosion. Metallic corrosion, uh, distant metals are alloys by the surrounding environment uh, through electrochemical, chemi electrochemical reaction, maybe wet or dry corrosion. So, this is more dangerous than this one about the rate corrosion is in dry corrosion is less than that in a wet atmosphere. A metal immersed in a sea water corrodes rapidly than the metal immersed in river water. See, when you take a water, one from the river, other from that uh, sea water, sea water is that uh, uh, what you call that, that is a salt uh, content is more, whereas river water does not contain this one about that. When you dip that metal into this one, this corrodes faster than uh, this one about that, because it comes about that sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, sodium chloride about that. That means, you know like when I was studying corrosion chapter, when I was in young, uh, my teacher is say about that, people is to start to paint the bridge. Aurora Bridge in the month of January ending in the December, again they used to start that. This is because of that salt water, because of that salt water, you know like uh, this one, okay, metal immersed in a sea water corrodes rapidly than a metal immersed in river water. River water is continuous flowing about that, this is stagnant. 
okay this is about that fifth uh, one conductivity conductance of the medium as a considerable uh, effect on the rate of corrosion the rate of corrosion increases with increase in the conductance that means higher the conductance the rate of conduction also increases as of the medium as the conductance of medium increases ions can move easily through the medium the rate of corrosion in a dry atmosphere is less than that of wet corrosion actually these two are not actual types of corrosion roughly we are going to say about that corrosion is due to dry and wet corrosion a metal immersed in sea water corrodes rapidly than a metal immersed in river water i think uh, maybe in uh, 10% only maybe metal may be corroded when we uh, ship that about that immersed in the river water whereas 90% metal is going to be corroded uh, in that uh, um, uh, this one what is that in that sea water because of that uh, uh, salt NaCl sodium hydroxide sodium chloride water salt water and the next one is that temperature so the rate of corrosion increases with increase in temperature even similar to the conductance about that directly proportional directly proportional about that higher the temperature the rate of conduction increase in temperature increases the conductance of the corrosion medium which contributes to the corrosion rate see 95 percent of that uh, corrosion is going to happen in this temperature about that we have about that temperature increases corrosion rate also increases whereas around only 5 percent temperature increases corrosion decreases very rarely but most of the times about that need to increase this one okay the rate of corrosion increases with increase in temperature so increase in temperature increases the conductance of the corrosion medium which contributes to the corrosion rate corrosion rate increases mostly the metal is going to be corroded about higher the temperature the rate of corrosion rate the rate of the corrosion also more about that so so far i have discussed about that what is metallic corrosion you explain electrochemical theory or local cell theory of corrosion then explain the factors affecting the rate of corrosion normally this question is to ask for the this one for 9 marks you have to answer any 3 out of 6 about that explain explain the uh, any th factors any 3 factors affecting the rate of corrosion that is 3 into 3 that is 9 marks about that so next one is that different types of corrosion different types of corrosion see somewhere i told you about that O2 and H2 this is only due to wet and dry corrosion but these two are not the actual types of corrosion. So differential metallic corrosion and differential aeration corrosion. Differential metallic corrosion is nothing but different metals metal 1 and metal 2 for example in automobile industry bolt bolt metal 1 and nut metal 2 then differential metallic corrosion takes place. To avoid differential metallic corrosion, you have to use same metal, do not use different metal. See, Maruti Udyog that uh, Maruti car, the metals are being used, both bolt and nut are same metal or same material, M1, M1, nickel, nickel, chromium, chromium, like that only, iron, iron. Otherwise, if you dissimilar metals, it is going to happen that. Even when you are wearing that chain in your neck, also, if you have that uh, gold chain and uh, silver, even dissimilar metal is good, dissimilar uh, this one differential metallic corrosion also going to take place. To avoid of using two different metals about that, to use same metal only. It occurs when two dissimilar metals that is M1 and M2 are in contact with each other in a corrosive environment, the metal with lower reduction potential undergoes oxidation. The metal with lower reduction potential undergoes oxidation, whereas the metal with higher reduction potential undergoes reduction. Okay. So, hence uh, the metal of higher reduction in the electrochemical series is anodic to the one below it. The, the, the potential difference between the two metals is the cause of the corrosion. Higher the difference, faster the rate of corrosion. Higher this one, faster the rate of corrosion. The anodic metal undergoes corrosion and the cathodic metal is unattacked or safe about that protected let us consider bimetallic one just i am taking iron and a couple of this one iron and uh, uh, what you call that iron and copper iron and copper so now i am going to see whether uh, depending upon that electrode potential for example the standard electrode potential of iron is minus point 44 volt whereas which is less than the copper 
whose standard potential is that plus plus uh, plus uh, 0.34 volt. That means iron, uh, this one what is that iron electrons flowing from anode to cathode. That means this is anode, this is cathode. So, this is anode, this is cathode because electrons flowing from lower to higher one. So, now I repeat this you know like uh, uh, when, to, when it occurs when two dissimilar metals are in contact with each other in a corrosive environment, the metal with lower reduction potential undergoes oxidation. Whereas, metal with higher reduction potential undergoes reduction, other one we have become this one, uh, this one opposite to that. So, if you take an example about that iron to copper, iron behaves as anode because of that uh, lower electrode potential, whereas copper has higher electrode potential. If you want to protect iron, you have to take one more example, uh, you know, the other one. So, now at anode, iron into iron 2 plus, uh, this reaction takes place. Whereas, at the cathode, depending on the nature of the corrosion atmosphere, the cathodic reaction may be either hydrogen evaluation or oxygen or this one. That means, solution is aerated, de aerated or neutral. That means, acidic basic neutral. Let us consider this is the second example. This is second example. If you take this one about that. So, now uh, zinc and iron, when you take a couple of that bimetallic couple, bi means two of iron and zinc, if you take that about that as iron, uh, you know like now iron, zinc has lower electro potential than iron. So, now you know like zinc that is about that minus, uh, the zinc is placed above iron in the electrochemical series because it is anodic to iron, zinc has an electrode potential of minus point. 76 minus 0.76 volt, whereas this one minus 0.3, this one what is that iron minus 0.44 volt. That means, electrons flowing from anode to this one about that means, zinc has acts as an anode, whereas iron acts as a cathode. See, in the earlier case, iron behaves as anode because with respect to copper. So, whereas here, uh, iron is acts as a uh, this one cathode that means this is going to be corroded this is going to be protected about that if you want to iron behaves as anode as well as cathode depending upon that uh, uh, this one electrode potential so the zinc is placed above the iron so on so whereas the iron has an electrode potential of minus 0.44 volt hence in this uh, uh, case zinc uh, is uh, anode and undergoes corrosion that means, electrons flowing from anode to cathode. Example, steel screws in copper sheet. Steel screws in copper sheet. I told you just now that in Maruti Uddev Maruti car, that bolt and nut are using same metal to avoid differential metallic corrosion. Lead tin shoulder around the copper wire. Buried iron pipeline connected to the zinc bar. See, now I am going to tell you at the end about that, you know, cathodic protection about that, ship and other things about that, uh, different metals are going this one to avoid the uh, bigger size of the metal about that. Okay. For example, ship uh, or uh, this one, what is that uh, metallic, uh, metallic container, say this is metal one and if you want to protect this, you have to use small metal, other one this is going to be corroded. So, this is called uh, Sacrificial on my impressed voltage method time, I am going to talk about in detail about that. Steel pipe connected to copper plumbing. So, when you when you do that steel and copper, again dissimilar metals are going to happen about that. Clear now? So, in the second example, let us consider bimetallic couple of iron and zinc as shown below. As zinc is placed above the iron in the electrochemical series, it is anodic to iron. Zinc has an electrode potential of 0.76 volt, whereas iron has an electrode potential of minus 0.44. So, this is this one zinc acts as an anode, uh, iron acts as a cathode. Earlier case, iron acts as an anode, copper acts as a cathode. In this case, zinc is an anode that means corrosion takes place at anode, other one behaves as and undergoes corrosion, iron being uh, this one steel is being uh, cathode, it remains unaffected. These are all about that different one uh, about that. Next one is that differential aeration corrosion. This is differential aeration corrosion is due to because of that O2 oxygen, differential concentration of O2 partially immersed iron piece. For example, less oxygenated area, less oxygenated area, 
for example, you know like if you take this one, you know like we take a water, take a water in a beaker and immerse the glass, uh, glass uh, immerse the metal sheet, this is the metal one about that, one by four, this whatever the one is, is immerse about that, this portion behaves as anode, uh, the other portion behaves as cathode. That means, uh, this electrons flowing from anode to cathode. So, this portion behaves as and uh, uh, this portion this anode that means corrosion takes place where about that less oxygenated area why um, the merge submerged water portion part of that metal behaves as anode other one because of less area less oxygenated area where other one is not going to this cathodic area because more oxygenated area about that so iron to iron to plus and o to plus this one about gives hydroxyl ions related solution water line corrosion water line corrosion means about that for example, if you take a this one what is that container of the metallic one about the metallic container okay, and you have to fill water about that. So, this is less aerated area that is why uh, you know like this portion behaves as anode, the remaining portion behaves as cathode, electrons flowing from anode to cathode, this portion behaves as anode okay. and uh, you know like uh, ship you know like this is cathode more oxygenated area, this is anode, this is less oxygenated area. For example, in the ship about that, the submerged water about that, this portion behaves as anode, remaining portion behaves as cathode about the same reactions higher and higher and plus, this one about that. Even in your houses, you have that, uh, uh, in, a, in your houses, you have that, uh, uh, what you call that um, sump uh, to store water below the ground level about that. You are normally people are using earlier days, not now are using metallic pipe, metallic pipe to pump the water about that. So, now you know like what are the portions about that in the water submerged about that, this portion behaves as anode, a remaining portion behaves as cathode because this is less aerated, other portion is a more oxygenated about that. So, electrons flowing from anode to cathode, the an this is anode, this is cathode, electrons flowing from anode to cathode normally. 1 by 4th portion is behaves as anode, remaining portion behaves as cathode. Even now that is what people are not using metallic pipes to avoid corrosion, even BWSSP, Bangalore Water Supply uh, uh, Sewage Board also has decided not to use metallic pipe to avoid corrosion. Because earlier days, you have about 100 years back, 50 years back about the people are using that, people are not having that PVC. Now, people are using PVC pipe to avoid uh, different this metallic corrosion. Okay, so now, now, uh, now you know like differential aeration corrosion. Just I have explained about that uh, two different types of metallic corrosion. Actually, three or four are there. But as per the syllabus, you are going to study only differential metallic corrosion and differential aeration corrosion. This is about that one. And uh, one more uh, example is that why wire mesh joints corrodes faster than other metals. You know, like windows, people are going to put that joints about that. You know, like. Uh, uh, you know the, this joints and all, this joints, this joints, this joints behaves as anode, uh, this behaves as anode, the, the other portion behaves as cathode because this portion behaves as, uh, be, this is less oxygenated or uh, joint about that, that metal is going to be corroded wherever this one because of that less oxygenated. Okay. So, now fitting corrosion. And uh, the fitting corrosion comes under uh, differential error corrosion. Okay. So, now you know like fitting corrosion, uh, it arises when a small portion of the metallic surface is covered by dust or scale. For example, your vehicle about that just one drop about that about small portion of the metal surface is covered by a dust or scale or oil drops, when you are not going to clean that. Yeah, that part that portion behaves as anode, remaining portion behaves as cathode. So, here uh, if it arises when a small portion of the metallic surface is covered by dust or scale or oil drops, the metal below the dust which exposed to the lower concentration and uh, this one about exposed to lower concentration of oxygen acts as anodic area in the presence of suitable corrosive environment metal is lost at the place, the, a pit is formed, this is called pitting corrosion means the pit is formed. The whole remaining part of the metal which is exposed to higher concentration of oxygen acts as a cathode, I told you about this one, 
this is about fit formation uh, cathode uh, area and remains unaffected once fit is formed about that. So, whenever vehicle whatever the metal objects we have that dust or uh, this one dust or any scale or oil is formed about that or any scratch about that first we have to cover with paint otherwise that portion uh, we have as anode other portion we have this one and pit formation is going to happen that to avoid this one. Okay, this is about that anode iron to iron 2 plus iron or steel block O2 plus 2H2O this gives about that cathode. So, this portion behaves as anode and uh, other portion behaves as cathode about that. So, corrosion takes place at anode. This is about that I discussed so far about that what is metallic corrosion explain electrochemical theory of corrosion then explain the factors affecting the rate of corrosion explain the rate of, of uh, rate of corrosion about that and uh, you know like uh, explain rate of corrosion that is uh, anodic to cathodic areas temperature pH current density corrosion product etc then explain about that what is differential metallic corrosion Di differential metallic corrosion uh, differential metallic corrosion then uh, fitting corrosion uh, differential aeration corrosion by giving an example explain about that and the next one is that fitting corrosion in that fitting how it is going to happen that and actually grain boundary corrosion and stress corrosion are there but as per the uh, as per the uh, you know like as per the present syllabus you are not going to study about that for example grain boundary corrosion grain boundary corrosion and uh, grain boundary corrosion then stress corrosion stress corrosion so grain boundary corro stress corrosion means about that you take a sheet uh, you take a metal pipe or all or uh, this one about that and two pipes one you uh, don't disturb as it is you have to keep it that other one you have to bend it that means you have to press the force over that that more that means this one and put it this one in the corrosive environment put in this corrosive environment this portion behaves as anode these two ends behaves as cathode because and no corrosion takes place here because of that uh, stress corrosion here while pressing that portion behaves as about that for example when we are constructing the building people are going to give rods like this about that so when you are going to make it as straight straight about that then this portion behaves as anode that portion behaves as anode and that is not going to be useful for that about the corrosion is going to take place in the in the joint or whatever the pressure applied about this to just to make it a straight about for example 18 feet 18 feet that is 36 feet whatever the long rods are there nowadays you know like government has changed the procedure now now they are not bringing that uh, iron uh, rods and all bigger one with the bending about the only straight one with the long uh, service whatever the one uh, transportation one if people are going to send the one through that long vehicle only. So, this is about stress corrosion how to avoid stress, stress corrosion do not press do not give any pressure over that you have to use only straight about that and this one okay. grain boundary corrosion means corrosion takes place. For example, in the iron corrodes pass about that if you want to corro if you want to avoid grain boundary corrosion you have to use some amount of titanium to that titanium titanium is a photo catalyst titanium you have to use some amount about that may be 3 to 4 percent of the titanium added to the steel we can avoid a grain boundary corrosion grain boundary corrosion. grain boundary corrosion about that. So, this is about that what is metallic corrosion uh, explain the different types of corrosion rate of corrosion about that. So, now you know like uh, so far we have discussed about that morning that uh, you know the first period that uh, uh, you know like a general discussion about that uh, uh, one scheme etcetera then what is metallic corrosion metallic corrosion nothing but these metals are alloys by the surrounding environment through chemical or electrochemical reactions. And, uh, Later you have studied about that anodic and cathodic areas and all uh, cathodic areas and all uh, about that cathodic area uh, cathodic areas and all about that and anodic uh, this one anodic area mark cathodic cathodic solution this reaction 
uh, this one is solution is aerated, deaerated, etc. Uh, then uh, you know like uh, factors affecting the rate of corrosion, corrosion product, temperature, pH, current density, anodic cathodic area, etc. Then later you studied about that, you explained about that different types of corrosion, differential metallic corrosion, differential metallic avoid of using, how to avoid differential metallic corrosion, you have to use same metal only. I told you the example about that, uh, Maruti car, whatever the metal, wherever you uh, use that about that and uh, differential aeration corrosion, I told you by giving an example about that, uh, tube, uh, even why wire mesh joints for, for, for causes. Uh, for, for corroded faster than other metal, other giants because of that less oxygenated, oxygenated, etc. Even that another things, another two examples are also given. Then fitting corrosion also were explained. Uh, then uh, uh, this one about that. Uh, the then uh, then you know like uh, this one fitting corrosion. There uh, will explain about that uh, ship other things about that. So these are all general things we explain about that. And uh, next point is that here. Uh, this is the one you know like uh, uh, the next is that here corrosion control. Corrosion control means what is meant by corrosion control? How do you control corrosion? I uh, mean you know like you know corrosion control uh, just in the control in, in the topic itself uh, uh, is there about that uh, contro corrosion control control that means, Corrosion can be controlled metals uh, may be by applying paints, by applying paints, enamels, electroplating process, electroplating process, electroless plating process, electroless plating process and corrosion inhibitors. Corrosion inhibitors and sacrificial unknown method, sacrificial anode method and impressed and impressed voltage method and impressed voltage or current voltage or current method, current method. See now you see that here uh, metals uh, for example, tube lights, metallic part or vehicles etc. about that you have to apply paints, you have to apply enamels, okay, metallic doors, metallic windows and all why to protect the metal from the corrosion and what yeah, and by uh, have to do by electroplating process. So, anodic method, cathodic method, cathodic method is nothing but cathodic protection is nothing but electroplating process. Electroplating is a process in which one metal is coated with another metal. Electroplating is a process in which one metal is coated with another metal. Okay, for example, electroplating of uh, nickel, I uh, you know like uh, um, this one electroplating of nickel, chromium, copper, gold, silver, etc. See now why iron corrodes fast other metal because iron is a porous material about that. You are going to coat nickel or chromium or copper, etc. If at all if I want to, if I want to buy a strip to my watch, I need 30 grams of gold. So now gold is so costly or nickel, chromium, copper, etc. So now just I uh, you know like 30, 10 percent of the gold is sufficient for me to plate it over my strip. Say about that instead of 30 gram, just 2 to 3 gram of gold is enough to do electroplating of gold. Okay. So, this is electroplating process. See now electroplating of chromium. Nowadays, whenever you people visit Dadar near to Mumbai, you can see that furnitures are coming with that chromium. And whenever you people construct the building, wall color, blue color, red color also and even that whatever the color it is possible to get that furnitures and windows doors also. Later you won't get that uh, wooden uh, with this articles because of the deforestation and industrialization, urbanization about that. So, we have to depend upon only metallic one. Most of the places now they have stopped using metal wooden articles because of that cost or not av non availability about that. Okay. What is the electroless plating process? Electroless plating process is that it is a deposition metal from its salt solution 
on a catalytical active surface by a suitable reducing agent without using electrical energy. For example, electrolysis of nickel, electrolysis plating of nickel, you know like uh, electrolysis plating of copper, etc. Here, you know like electrolysis plating, you know like no anode, no cathode, directly object can be plated. Even a nail also can be plated, air also can be plated, even chalk also can be plated. The only thing is the thing should not be dissolved at the time of plating. That is a major disadvantage between electro plating and electroless plating process. Electroless plating process in which uh, you know like you need not to pass current. Now you have to pass current here, whereas here you need not to pass current. Directly object can be plated, whereas a uh, corrosion inhibitors. So, corrosion inhibitors are used to uh, avoid corrosion. The rate of corrosion only can be controlled, uh, the corrosion cannot be stopped about that. And cathodic protection that is sacrificial anode method and impressed voltage method about that. So, impressed voltage method, these are the methods to about that. So, now you are going to study next class about these two. I am going to explain these two in this corrosion chapter, whereas in electroless plating and electro electroless plating of chromium and electroless plating of copper, I am going, you are going to study in the under metal finishing chapter about that. What are the advantages about this electroless plating process? Means, electroless plating process metals, non-metals alloys can be plated, whereas electro plating only metals can be plated and uh, you need not to pass electricity to the electro plating process. And uh, one more thing is that you know like higher uh, this one throwing power, throwing power means the ability of the plating bath to give a uniform and uh, even deposit on the entire surface object is called throwing power about that. You know like uh, that is about that uh, percentage of throwing power can be, de by you, can be determined by using uh, Herringblum cell H A R I N G dash B L U M cell. Okay. The percentage of throwing power is equal to 100 into x minus y by x plus y minus 2. Number 2 this is when C 1 is greater than C 2 when C 1 is greater than C 2. So, now you know like uh, uh, this one electrospating process, I electrospating baths have higher throwing power, whereas electroplating baths have lower throwing power about that. And uh, um, the resulting deposits have uni this one, the in intricate parts with intricate means I N T R I C A T A. Irrespective structure of the object, you will get uniform thickness in that electrospating process. Whereas, electroplating process you would not get that about that. The resulting deposits are unique like chemical, mechanical and magnetic properties in that electroless plating process. Whereas, electroplating process even the result uh, this one uh, are, 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 are disadvantage about this electrical power electric contrast cannot be eliminated here can be eliminated and semiconductors cannot be plated only metals can be plated here whereas, here metal non-metal or alloy or anything can be plated. I told you just now that even nail also can be plated, even that uh, air also can be plated, chalk piece also can be plated about that. And the resulting deposits are unique here, whereas in electroplating process it is not unique. And uh, uh, you know like uh, this one throwing power, higher, lower throwing power, higher throwing power about this. These are all advanced distinguish between electroplating and electroless plating process about that. So, if you want to plate it on your nail, if you want to plate it on your nail, you know like electroless plating of nickel, electroless plating of nickel and copper, nickel that is pH, pH is that uh, uh, pH is that 4.5, whereas uh, electroless plating of nickel, electroless plating of copper of 11.0 and uh, temperature electroless plating of nickel 93 degree Celsius whereas this one electroless plating of copper 25 degree centigrade. So, you have to tell me that which one you are going to select for this one plate and nail that is about that you have to select only nickel, uh, you have to select only copper, do not select nickel because this is lower uh, pH and uh, lower temperature, lower than Bangalore uh, city temperature about that, whereas this is boiling temperature and this is more acidic, your skin is going to burn. If you want to plate on nail, you have to select always electroless plating of copper. That is why it is you are going to this one used for the manufacture of printed circuit boards in electronic industries. 
about that. This is about uh, electoral splitting advantages, you have to select about that only and uh, you know like uh, intricate parts with irrespective structure of the object. See now your object is like this uniform this one, not like that. Any this one up and down crack etc. even that this object up and down etc. you will get uniform thickness irrespective of structure of the object you will get uniform thickness in that electro splitting process whereas electro plating process not possible. In electroless plating only it is possible about that. This is about uh, the things we are discussing about that what is, what is metallic corrosion you explain electrochemical theory of corrosion uh, explain different types of corrosion explain the factors of the rate of corrosion and uh, explain uh, this one differential etc. Then uh, about that explain factors these are the things we will explain about that. So, now you know like next class we will discuss about uh, that uh, you know like um, uh, this one corrosion control that is about what is cathodic protection etc, tinning, galvanization etc about that. Thank you.